greatest weapon of all. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. It's time we started this. Pain isn't something we thought. All we can ever do for our heroes is remember them. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living in and the one they would have lived. They gave up everything for our country, for us. They pray for freedom and justice. Some veterans not getting the timely care that they need. Less than 1% of Americans serving in uniform. Good news is, is that in recent years, we've made historic investments to boost the VA budget. What is it? Why should we care? We should care about press freedom because... Because we were informed. In democratic societies, free, diverse, and pluralist media enable public debates and are essential checks You don't look status. Let's discuss. Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to a new episode. Um, actually, new season as well. Oh. Season 5, finally we started. After 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, as a short reminder, vet to vet is a non-profit educational project dedicated to assist veterans with an adjustment to civilian lifestyle and to provide assistance in obtaining your VA and other available benefits that you have earned. So today we are talking about um, skin conditions. Uh, the VA awards uh, disability compensation for each uh, skin condition that is uh, service connected. And the DOD will also rate service-connected skin conditions as long as uh, they also make the service member unfit for duty. And for res reservists, the skin condition must have occurred in or resulted from an injury in the line of duty to qualify. Yeah, if you're in the reserves or the guard, no matter what, get those line of duty reports. Mm -hmm. They'll save you. So let's go into the topic. So the skin is uh, the largest uh, organs in the body. And uh, of course, the conditions of uh, what can go well or wrong with your skin can vary immensely in size and severity. And um, because the skin is so vast, a single condition could affect one small area or the entire body. Or multiple conditions can affect uh, the skin uh, at the same time. Applying the pyramiding principle to skin conditions is tricky. A single skin condition affecting a small area presents with a very different disability than the same condition affecting the entire body while multiple skin conditions in the same area would cause symptoms that are impossible to separate for rating purposes. Because of this, the VS, because of this, the VASRD offers additional guidance on applying the pyramiding principle of the skin conditions. Multiple ratings for different skin conditions can be given as long as one, each condition has a clear and distinct diagnosis and two, each condition affects a different area of the skin. For a single condition that affects different skin areas, a single ra rating is given under that condition and takes into account all affected areas. For multiple conditions that affect the same area, the VA will rate only the one that gives the higher rating. Characterized by the experience of itchy scaly rashes that result in itching, oozing, cracking, or bleeding, Steroid and drug action on the immune system often that come with the side effects are usually what is prescribed for treatment. The rating for these conditions will be determined based on how frequently the medication is needed to control outbreaks as well as the percentage of the body affected. So a common one that people are aware of is uh, psoriasis. This is a long-term skin condition that causes the skin cells to grow too quickly. It can result in thick, white, red, or silvery patches of skin, which can also become inflamed and flaky skin. It's believed it is caused by an overreaction of the immune system. Chloracne, the rating for this will be determined by how deep the acne is as opposed to how superficial. Deep acne has a more inflammation and vis visible infection and is the only acne that can receive a compensation rating. Chronic hives. These are pale red, itchy bumps on skin caused by allergic reaction or various other causes. To be considered chronic, they must occur for at least 
twice a week for more than six weeks. <clears throat> Vitiligo, a condition where the cells that give the skin color die off. This leads to the skin having a bleached look or lighted color. Primary cutaneous vasculitis, a condition where the small blood vessels near the skin burst. This makes the skin turn red or purple because of bleeding. Lupus. With lupus, the immune system attacks the skin and can cause tearing, scarring, and severe sores. Most often, these will occur on the head, near the ears, eyes, nose, lips, and cheeks. Skin infections. There are also a number of skin infections that can qualify for compensation rating included, but not limited to. Or, uh, oriental sore. Worm. New world mononucleosis, old world mononucleosis, uh, arith arrhythmia, and toxic epidermal necrolosis, infection that attacks the skin and causes organ failure. Definitely look into these words. Yeah, in um, August 2018, V8 made updates to its uh, rating system to all 15 body systems. So, um, and in doing so, VA made changes to how it evaluates conditions related to the skin. Also, no conditions were removed from the new rating schedule for skin conditions. Several diagnostic codes were restructured, restructured or revised. And importantly, uh, claims pending prior to August uh, 13, 2018, will be considered under both the old and new rating uh, criteria. And whichever is more favorable will be applied. Uh, overall, under the new rating schedule for skin condition, conditions, VA broadly aims to distinguish between conditions that affect a large portion of the body or the entire body and conditions that are localized or require localized treatment. How to avoid pyramiding when rating skin condition? Skin conditions are often difficult to categorize because each condition can have many different causes and symptoms. As such, veterans often run into a problem with pyramiding. The VA term for rating the same disability or same manifestation of a disability twice. However, multiple ratings for a skin condition can be given as long as each condition has a clear and distinct diagnosis and each condition affects a different area of skin. For a single condition that affects different uh, skin areas, a single rating is given under that condition and takes into account all affected areas. For multiple conditions that affect the same area, the VA will only rate one that gives the higher rating. So, um, how VA rates uh, skin conditions? VA rates skin conditions under the 38 CFR 4.118, under the diagnostic codes 7800 to 7833. A number of skin conditions are rated based on the amount of skin that is affected. VA rating schedule proposes two ways to determine this, calculations and estimations Skin area calculations take into account the surface area in inches squared that is affected, whereas skin area estimations take into account the percentage of skin that is affected. However, scars on the head, face, or neck are rated based on skin loss and how many facial features have been disfigured. On the other hand, disability ratings for scars on areas of the body other than the head, face, or neck are generally based on the size of the scar. The following is the breakdown of how the VA will determine your rating percentage. So 0% re requires no more than topical therapy over a 12 month period along with at least one of the following characteristic lesions covering less than 5% of the entire body, characteristic lesions involving less than 5% of the exposed area affected, or rate as a disfigurement of the head, face, or neck, or scars, dependent on the predominant disability. 10% involving at least 
one of the following lesions involving under 20% but at least 5% of the entire body or under 20% but at least 5% of the exposed affected area intermittent systemic therapy including but not limited to phototherapy medications or creams 30% requiring at least one of the following characteristic uh, lesions involving 20 to 40% of the entire body or 20 to 40% of the exposed areas affected. Systemic therapy, including but not limited to phototherapy, medications, and, or other immunosuppressive drugs needed for six weeks or more, although not consistently over the past 12 months. For 60%, you want characteristics of lesions involving more than 40% of the entire body or more than 40% of the exposed areas are affected. Constant or near cost, constant or near constant systemic therapy, but not limited to therapy and medications or other immunosuppressive drugs required over the past 12 months. Systemic therapy is also defined by the VA as any treatment injected, taken orally, through the nose, or anally. Topical therapy is defined by the VA as any treatment applied directly to the skin. Yeah. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea. And hopefully I got some of those words right. So those direct service connection uh, is a very common to pursue when trying to obtain VA disability benefits. And to establish a direct service connection for a skin condition, veterans will need to demonstrate uh, that they have a current diagnos diagnosis of a skin condition, an uh, in-service event, injury or illness related to the skin condition, and a medical nexus linking the current um, uh, current condition uh, that uh, with the illness or with the service uh, with the event that happened uh, in the line of duty. So those are the three ones that doesn't change uh, uh, either it's skin condition or anything else. Yeah. So and presumptive service connection is another way for veterans to uh, pursue entitlements to VA disability benefits. And the VA has determined that certain conditions are presumed the service connected to veterans fall under certain criteria. And uh, presumptive service connection means that veterans do not have to provide a medical nexus linking their conditions to the time in service. And such an example of presumptive service connection for skin condition includes the following. Uh, Veterans who were exposed to herbicide agents while serving in Vietnam and develop one of these conditions within a year of exposure to a degree of 10% disabling are afforded presumptive service connection. So could be uh, random little things that you think you know. And the next one is the Gulf War veterans with chronic skin conditions like dermatitis or undiagnosed skin disorders can be eligible for presumptive service con connection at any time if the condition can be rated 10% or higher. So there's always random little things and different types of skin conditions. So look into it and the major things get diagnosed so you know which one you're going to be filing for. Yo, yeah, uh, so um, remember due to the difficulty in determining the definitive course or definition for skin conditions, your rating will be determined by an estimation. Uh, and in other words, this means an uh, educated guess determines the rating for your skin condition. And this is especially true in determining the percentage of skin affected by the condition. And uh, finally, there are numerous skin conditions not covered uh, in our uh, podcast today. And uh, if you are suffering from a condition that uh, you didn't hear today, uh, do not uh, consider that as a discouragement from placing a claim with VA.
like it's still uh, possible to receive a compensation compensatory rating even for issue that we didn't discuss uh, today here so that's it guys for uh, skin condition topic uh, and um, as always uh, do you have any book or movie or stuff you would like to recommend yeah i don't know if i brought it up but the batman street jokers hard cover came out and it's a really good story it's one of the fun batman stories if you guys haven't read it <laughs> i think it was by jeff johns and uh, as always quote or words of wisdom of the day life is not a problem to be solved but a reality to be experienced yeah said by soren kierkegaard <laughs> that's it folks thank you for listening until next time over and out thank you